But to Pastor Elect Gray, to Bishop Wilburn, Pastor Merritt, Chief Consecrator, Pastor Joyce Wilburn, Presiding Elder Lauderdale, to all the pastors who are here today, all the ministers who came out to be a part of this wonderful occasion, and to all of you, God, beautiful, beautiful children. Yeah. I stand as Elder Aretha Garner in leadership right along with Pastor Vinveca Gray. Amen. Pastor Gray and I started a long time ago, along with some other members that are still here, a long time ago. And we are here at this point of our lives, celebrating together. I celebrate her every single day that God give me strength to put her on my mind and put her on my heart to pray for her, to ask God to lead her and to guide her. But more than anything, protect, them, protect her from the, the wiles and the evil stuff that's going to come her way. Yeah. We already know it's going to come, but I'm asking him to protect her. Yeah. Pastor Gray, you have my word as of right now, way before now, that I stand behind you 100%, yeah, 110, 15, and give you all of me what I can give all of and do any and everything that you have asked, will ask of me, that will be done. Yeah. But I just want to say to Golden Leaf Baptist Church today, see, we are under new anointing. Yeah. We are under new power. We are under new leadership. Yeah. What I've already sh shared with the church earlier, we got to bomb and go off in Golden Leaf Baptist Church. Yeah. We got a bomb that's finna say, boo! And it ain't going to be nothing nice. Because this woman right here is getting ready to lead us into another dimension of what God has called us to do. And once we get together and follow that leadership, see, Bishop done already laid the ground. He, he, he got that concrete together. He got that water together. And he started mixing it all up years ago, over 30-some years ago. And he just started pouring it into different vessels, yeah. pouring that concrete into different vessels. And that concrete began to get hard and mold. Yeah. And what concrete do is stay in place. Yeah. It don't go nowhere. Yeah. It can't even move. Yeah. So she can't move or do anything until God says so. Yeah. So with that being in place, until what God says, we're in line to do just that. So I say again, and I said it earlier this morning, I'm celebrating just like we celebrate almost 10 years ago when we went to uh, Washington, D.C. to celebrate Pe President, I may say, Barack Obama going into, uh, 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 into the White House. It was just like a bomb went off. And it was just like the awe of God just starts surrounding us. And we couldn't do nothing but just weep and cry. Because we know God was getting ready to do something magnificent for the people. So it's the same thing. I'm celebrating just like I celebrate then. I'm celebrating with her right now. Amen. And we're going to roll with this thing. We're going to roll and we're going to roll and we're going to roll. And in the end, we're going to all say, boom, there it is. Yeah. That's the bomb. Good evening to everyone. Good evening. Bless the Lord. We will bless the Lord at all times. Our praise shall continually be in our mouths. Trustees, would you please stand? Your GLC trustees. As many and I was asked to be trustees by Bishop and Pastor Joyce, we followed them. We did exactly of what they asked of us because it was of God. 
And we believed in them, they believed in us. And we're still here. Now, Pastor Gray, as we heard the sermon this morning from Pastor Hope, your trustees, we are resetting that button. We are resetting that button. And we will follow you. We will follow you. We believe in you. We trust in you. Because we know that God has called you. And we know we won't be moving back. We're going forward. In Jesus' name. And we thank all of you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to stay up here. Good evening. I will bless the Lord at all times. <laughs> That's our Pastor Emeritus' favorite scripture. To our Pastor Elect Gray, to Bishop Wilborn, Lady Joyce, we are all the pastors, all the ministers, whatever title you have, all my Christian sisters and brothers, we are so very glad to be here and to see you. And we're glad for you to see us. Now, I'm here to represent the pastoral, sustaining pastoral excellence team. In case you're wondering, and I'm sure you are, what does that mean? Sustaining means to support, to lift up, to cheer up. We got you. We got you. Not only do we do that mentally, Physically, yes, financially, Amen. we will lift you up because we know even though you did not see, God meant it to be. Amen. God meant this to be. Amen. And Pastor Ronnie Holt, I told you this morning, uh, you came in on the scripture that I had been running down Highway 22. <laughs> On my way back to Memphis from Atlanta, I grabbed a piece of paper once the traffic got a little dim. I said, let me write this down. Historical and a new thing. Yeah. Pastor Elect Vinbecca Bogart Gray, you are history. You are in the books. You are, we are in the books. First female pastor of the Golden Leaf Church. And to know that God ordained it to be, long time ago. This is for you. This is for you. In Isaiah 43, <laughs> led by the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. Pastor Hope, you hit it, and he hit yours too. This yes. <laughs> Joshua 1. 18 and 19 says, do not remember the former things, nor consider things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. God brought the Israelites out. Just like he brought them out, he's bringing us out into something new, a new thing. Pastor Gray, a new thing. We got you. So we love you. We respect you. Everything that God has called you to do, we're going to be here for you. We're going to support you, whatever it takes. We got you, and you know, we know that you have us. We love you. We can't tell you enough how much we love you, but we're going to keep telling you over and over and over again. We love you, and we appreciate you. So that's what we do here at GLC. Thank you. We bless you. Come on. Oh, yeah, I'm in. Good evening, Pastor Gray. Um, your, I think it was your brother had my scripture. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say. So, uh, I, you know, I just want to let you know how thankful we are that you are here. And I know you're a woman of integrity. You love God. You love your church. 
You love your bishop and your former bishop and, and pastor. And I mean, you just you just look, uh, just a lovable person. Yes. And we want to let you know that we are here for you. We'll do everything we can for you. And I just want to thank you personally for trusting in me being a trustee because you could have got a new a whole new uh, board, you know. But I just want to thank you for that. And I won't do nothing that would you know, let you down. I will do everything to lift you up so we can go forward. Thank you.
for praise. <laughs> Somebody ought to give him a praise offering right now for his goodness and his mercy toward us. Somebody ought to offer him praise right now for his goodness and his mercy. Hallelujah. Has God been good to anybody in this place today? He did say, surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days. And every day of my life, he has supplied that goodness and that mercy. Somebody ought to give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, choir and music ministry. I tell you, this choir is something else. Oh, we serve a great God. We have more celebratory remarks. As a family member, Evangelist Yolanda B. Leak, Power of God Ministries. As a sister, Sister Benita. 
K. Littlejohn, Golden Leaf Church, and also Reverend Darian E. Bogard, New Direction Christian Church. And then we will have, as a colleague, Brother Rashad Alexander, Comcast University. Please come in that order. Thank you. Come on and give the Lord praise. Amen. Give an honor to God, to Pastor Gray, to all of you in your respective assignments, and to the household of faith. Why are we here? We're celebrating you as pastor. God allowed you to plan, choose this date, the time, the guest list, etc. But Jeremiah 1 and 5, before I formed thee in Willie Heron Bogart's belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of Willie's womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. You were a great daughter to mom and dad. I won't reminisce all the way back, but I will say I thank God for the relationship we have always had. You have been a great big sister to all of us and for all of us. At this time, I'm going to ask all of the uncles and aunts of Pastor Vinveca Gray to stand. If you are aunt or an uncle, <laughs> Pastor Gray, you have been a great niece to each one. On mom's side, you're the oldest. And on dad's side, you fell somewhere in line. Still a good niece. <laughs> Prayers and encouraging scriptures supporting different accomplishments. I'm going to ask all of the siblings of Pastor Gray to please stand. <laughs> Not you, Mariah. I don't think any of us have had a fight with you, nor an argument. Well, I know I haven't. <laughs> We've had disagreements, but we never had harsh words spoken to one or about one another. Thank you for being a great example to us and for us. I need all the nephews and niece to stand. You have been a great example of an aunt to and for each one. You remember the birthdays, Christmas, special occasions, anything in between just to give them a great gift. You've done it, so we appreciate that. I'm going to ask Rakesha to stand. Your, your one and only daughter, she's a jewel. She has inspired so many young and old in various areas of their lives. The most important is her choice to represent our Lord and Savior as she continues to preach, reach, and teach his people. All the cousins stand. You have been a great cousin to each one. Some, you have been more like a big sister, and we appreciate that. The great nephews and niece stand. That should be all my grandchildren. <laughs> I think I'm... You have been a great aunt for and to each one of them as well. Everyone that is kin to Pastor Vin, please stand. Everyone that's some kin to Pastor Vin, please stand.
You have been a great relative to each one. Even though we share and have memories with you, the greatest to me has been the light of letting your life, what it has been to and for each of us to see and hear and to decide to know more about your Jesus, your Lord, and your Savior. I'm skipping over. <laughs> so she won't ring the bell. <laughs> Thank you for being there for my children and for all the family members by living the life you talked, by living the life you preached about. My children, our nephews, our niece, our aunts, our cousins, our uncles, though they have, well, all of them respect you, and I'm going to add this part. The niece, the nephews, and my children, even though they have gotten grown, they still show respect for Aunt Vin. Being in your presence, They'll change everything they were saying and doing, and then they'll start asking about God. <laughs> Some of them even have gotten bold enough to ask you to be their spiritual counselor. <laughs> but we thank you for showing, even at a young age until now, that living for Jesus is a lifestyle, not just a Sunday and Wednesday time only. <laughs> Pastor Van Becker, Renbeck, Bogart Gray, on behalf of our family, we celebrate you, we are godly proud of you, and the choice you made to represent Jesus. My favorite picture is this one. It's because I'm by your side, sitting by your side right there. And even though we're grown, Side by side, I shall remain. I thank God for you. We love you, and we will continue to honor and respect you as the woman of God you are. Jeremiah 1, 8, 9, and 10, I'm not going to read all of them. But be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, said the Lord.